Recently, there's been a lot of media attention focused on short-term renting in Toronto. And over the past few years, the city of Toronto has been thinking about regulating short-term rentals. But how did this all start? And what is a short-term rental exactly? The definition of a short-term rental, according to the city of Toronto, is a rental period less than 28 days. However, most people use the term short-term rental very loosely. Short-term rentals, guys. Short-term rental property. Commercial short-term rental operations. Depending on who you're talking to, it could mean anything less than 12 months. With global mobility on the rise, two to three month short-term rentals are very common nowadays. Every condo building in Toronto has their own set of rules and definition for short-term rentals. Depending on the building, a short-term rental may be considered anything from one day to anything less than one year. It's important to understand these definitions and how they affect you, as a renter or as an owner. Let's talk about Airbnb and the sharing economy. In the past six years, short-term rentals have become more popular due to websites like Airbnb. Home and condo owners are using this to supplement their income and pay down their mortgages. Is this a bad thing? Not necessarily, but what was initially intended to be a couch sharing service has turned into a giant corporation that now operates in every major city around the world. The hotel industry is definitely feeling the squeeze much like the horse and carriage companies in the early 1900s. Can I ask you a question? Do you know if the hotel's pager friendly? Hotels have spent millions lobbying local governments to level the playing field. There have also been mounting complaints from condo residents about disruptions and compromised security due to Airbnb. And last but not least, social activists and others are concerned about affordable housing and are pushing back against the housing drain caused by Airbnb properties being taken off the rental market. All of this has caused the city of Toronto and other major cities around the world to implement tighter controls on short-term rentals. The city of Toronto and other stakeholders are going to meet and talk about proposed regulations of short-term rentals. If passed, what does this mean for you? Here's a quick overview. Number one, short-term is defined as any rental period less than 28 days. You can only rent out your principal residence, no investment properties. You can rent short-term at your property for a maximum of 180 days a year. You must register with the city and pay an annual registration fee. A 4% tax of the rental must be paid to the city. So, if you are currently renting out your investment property via Airbnb or other similar websites, you may need to change the way you rent your property. Actually, you may not even have a choice. In some cases, Airbnb requires its host to register their listing with the city. Otherwise, listings are taken down. Something similar happened in San Francisco a few years ago, which cut the number of listings in half. Vancouver has reported a 47% decrease in Airbnb listings, 6,600 down to 3,700 after the regulations were put in place. So if your property is no longer eligible by city definition, and we suspect most properties will fail the primary resident test, what are the alternatives? Well, you can rent out through the MLS. There's a bunch of problems with this choice though. Having to pay realtor transaction fees, and the MLS isn't designed well for managing and listing furnished properties. The scariest, rent control laws which the government of Ontario has issued province-wide, your tenants may never leave once they move in. Maybe a better option, given you've already spent all this money on furniture, and an option most people are unaware of is corporate housing. So what is corporate housing? And how can an individual investor benefit from it? Many companies in the corporate housing market mostly service tenants traveling for work, which don't fall under the city's short-term rental definition. The properties in corporate housing inventory are professionally and actively managed, meaning less work for you, the owner. Owners might also benefit from higher rental rates charged to corporate tenants. Whatever you decide to do, consider asking the experts. At Skyview Suites, we help property owners navigate through those condo bylaw rules, as well as find a suitable rental option for your property. We hope this video has answered some of your questions and provided insight on the evolving landscape of short-term rentals. Make sure to check out our infographic showing five easy ways to avoid fines during the new regulations. Thanks for watching.